So this is my GoPro Hero 5 black setup on my Shoei RF1200 helmet. And of course, there's lots of different options for you out there. This was just the chin mount setup that I went with. And of course, if you want to review what I did to get my chin mount on here so that the curved mount would fit on this RF1200, because you know that it's got quite the lip on it that makes it hard for the curved adhesives to otherwise fit, then you can definitely check out my DIY epoxy mod for the helmet and for this GoPro. And that I will put the link to at the very end of this video on my and screen annotation. Hi again everybody. So what I've done here is I wanted to do a little bit of a continuation as to the custom mount that I did for my Shoei RF 1200 helmet for a chin mount with my GoPro. Now, continuing on, the chin mount that I did was actually an epoxy-based mod that uh, has turned out really well, actually. I've ridden now probably for uh, over a week, riding every day in temperatures that have been pretty cool and also, you know, just up to about 12 degrees Celsius has been the warmest, but the mount is solid. It's not going anywhere. It hasn't started to come apart at all where the 3M tape is holding it on to the chin mount it has ended up working really well the other thing as well is I can still use the vent if I need to the chin vent if I need to it works okay for me because I really rarely ride with the mount with sorry with the vent open because it's really never that super hot here where I am now continuing on from that what I wanted to show you guys was a couple things that I've done with my own setup everybody's got a different setup and that's totally cool I'm not saying that my setup is better but a lot of the other uh, chin mount type of POV setups that have been done include using a GoPro system with various mounts that mounts a little bit on the side of the helmet and then brings the camera up towards the chin. And that is fabulous as well. So for example, uh, Moto Nosity, I'll put the link to his video down below to show his setup and what that looks like. A lot of people use that similar setup and they absolutely love it. And that's super cool if that works for you. Also, a girl in her bike also has a bit of a different type of arm hook that comes around a curved arm to bring the camera to the chin which a lot of people also really love so there's lots of different options out there for you this was just my option because I didn't want to do any kind of side mounts so I decided to go ahead and just do a very nice simple chin mount what you see here along the sides here these two black pieces right here that is actually velcro tape and the reason that I'm using the Velcro tape is to mount the mic adapter for the GoPro 5. So a lot of you have probably heard about the brick that comes for the audio with the GoPro 5. So you do need to buy it separately. So this is the size of it. So in comparison to the size of the camera, you can see that it is a pretty large little adapter. And I'm still trying to work out my audio, so I'm not gonna go over what kind of mic or anything I'm using. A lot of people are reporting using the giant squid mic has been really successful for their setup. So what I did was A, I wanted to make sure that I had a teether for my camera. And what I chose to do for now until I come up with a better solution is I actually just used a little bit of the Velcro tape and I double-sided it on each other so that it's the fuzzy piece on both sides. And then I put the Velcro tape right alongside my mount here and I picked the, the hard side to put up on the helmet. And then when my camera is mounted on here, then the Velcro can just adhere to that. So it will just give me a little bit of um, extra protection in case something should happen to the camera, which I really doubt it will. This mount is really, really solid. But that is what I did. And to set up the teether on the camera, you can see that the camera comes in the case here. And what happens is to try to get that teether on here, I actually did it where the hinge piece was right here. There's a little spot where you can put the teether in there. Sorry, the puppy is barking and being very hyperactive today. So that is the GoPro Hero 5 Black camera with the teether that I have for my own setup. Now the other thing a lot of people have shown is you do need to remove the side door to be able to hook up your mic in here. So if you do do that, keep in mind that this is supposed to be a waterproof camera, but if you remove the hinged door on the side and expose the little internal components there, then 
then obviously it's not going to be super waterproof. So I took a piece of black duct tape to cover the port that would not be plugged in. So the port that's open, that's the port where the mic adapter is going to plug into. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you guys was how I set this up for the mic adapter. So there are definitely a lot of other solutions out there. This is just one that a lot of people said has been working for them. And that is, like I said, using the Velcro to mount it to the side of the helmet. The reason that I picked two Velcros on either side of the chin mount is in case I wanted to have the camera in a different angle. So for example, I have this so that I bought a short arm extension piece so that the camera can sit up a little bit higher like this with the extension piece. The other option, of course, is uh, many of you use the J-hook which comes with the helmet, the front helmet mount. You can also buy this in an accessories extra parts bag or even separately on Amazon, etc. So if you wanted to use the J-hook, the camera's gonna sit a little bit lower. And also the other thing too is depending what way you put the J-hook, your camera might actually be upside down, which, would, which works too, and I've done some of my videos like that. However, if you're going to do it like this with it being upside down, then that's gonna change the side that the battery is going to mount into the camera so you can see if I've got it angled upside down then the battery is going to have to plug into this side whereas if I have it right side up if I'm using my short arm piece like this then the battery is actually going to be mounting on this side of the camera so I needed to have it so that it could adhere to either side when it's plugged in I hope that that does make sense so that's why I did two pieces of Velcro tape on either side because it can just give me some different options for how to mount my camera depending on what kind of riding or what I'm going to be doing. So if I wanted my camera angle to be a little bit lower, then I can still do that with the battery. It's going to fit on either side of the mount. So that's why I did it like that. So the next thing that I did want to show you about that is just what my setup might look like when it's all hooked up and all plugged in. I'm going to show you the two different ways that I do it, one using the J-hook and the other one just using the short arm extension piece so just to give you some ideas of what you can do with a chin mount so for the chin mount if I'm using the short arm extension piece I just have the actual GoPro connector piece that is pretty much goes right into your curve mount on the front here. So this is just the piece, the mount like this. And this is more for those of you that have never really used a GoPro because this was kind of a learning curve for me because I've never used a GoPro camera. So with the mount like that, it is now secured in there. And then I can add my short arm extension piece to this here, which I ordered this short arm extension piece off Amazon. So it really wasn't all that expensive. And I do have some nice little hex screws coming in. So instead of using these big adapters, if I wanted it to look a little bit tidier, like a Motonocity setup, then I could do that too. So the next step would be, after you have your short arm extension piece here, is to go ahead and position your camera casing into that. So just like so. Okay, and then you can play around with however you want the placement. Uh, you might have to have it tipping back a little bit further, tipping this way again, depending on your helmet, depending on the mount setup, depending on what you ride and depending on what your riding style is for that time. Now for me, if I have the camera tilted back, I just need to make sure that the shield is not going to be in the way of it. So this usually works, the angle like this works pretty good for mine. If you wanted to, again, play around with it, you can move your arm settings whichever way. There's lots of different options for you. So it's just playing around with what you like best for your own individual setup. So this is one way to do that using the short arm extension piece. And then of course the next thing would be that you need to plug in your mic. So for me, once again, the way that I have my mic plugged in is I need to anchor my mic adapter onto the Velcro like so, and then this can just plug right into the camera. And I wanted to position it as such that I could still have the flexibility of moving the camera and not affecting the adapter piece plug in right here. So it still has the ability to move around and this is still secured enough and it's not gone anywhere. Don't forget to plug in your mic and the bottom of the mic adapter. So now I'm gonna show you how I might set this up with the J-hook. All right, so now with the J-hook, which is just this piece right here, it's easy enough to just slide that in if you wanted it to go at an angle like this. I'll show you what that might look like. So placing that in, it snaps in like so. And then you could have your camera uh, positioned into the J-hook right away, 
But what happens with it like this for me is that the angle was really not great. So it didn't work all that well. It was pointing, when, when the helmet's on, it was pointing a little bit too low like that. So that's why I wanted to get the adapter piece. I thought I would just put the adapter piece on the J-hook, but it turns out I probably don't need the J-hook to use with the adapter piece. But if you wanted to, you absolutely, of course, you could do that as well. So I'm gonna show you what that would look like with the J-hook. So with the adapter here and the J-hook, you can see that it's going to sit about like this, which would totally work. It does sit a little bit lower than what I just showed you, and I kind of like it so that the camera's a little bit higher because it gives a little bit more of a realistic uh, POV from closer up to where the eyes are. But this is how that the J-hook would work with the small arm adapter extension piece. Again, the Velcro where it's positioned here allows me to plug in the mic very easily and it still has the ability to move forward and backwards without exerting a lot of pressure on the mic adapter piece. And then, as I showed you, the camera teethers here that could teether onto the Velcro on the side like so. Now the other way that you could use it is you could use the JP so that it is actually positioned in upside down. So if you slide this one in and so that it fits in like so. Now the camera can actually sit in a position that is aimed like so. So the camera actually would sit upside down if this is the case, but remember it's going to auto rotate it anyway. So this would absolutely totally work. And I did do some vlogs with it like this and the POV turned out pretty okay. So when I have it like this, it's the same thing. Now I need to plug in the mic adapter on the opposite side. So having that Velcro piece on this side allows me to be able to place this here and still plug in the mic. And again, having that dexterity for it to move forward and backwards a bit without actually moving the mic adapter itself or putting a lot of stress on the cable. So I definitely hope that that helped some of you out. Don't be afraid. Throw some comments in there. Again, this is not, I'm not saying this is the best setup. I'm saying it's my setup. So if you want to go ahead and try to use this one, that's great. If you don't, that's great too. This is what I'm using and for now it works for me. All right, have a great day. Leave me a comment and if this video is helpful, of course, Throw a like on there and share.